Welcome to the course on audio signal processing for music applications and to this uh, first uh, programming uh, class. In this uh, lecture we introduce Python, which is a high-level programming language that we'll use throughout the course very much in a lot of the things uh, we will be programming with and uh, all the assignments. But this is not a programming course. We will be uh, just doing simple programs and uh, there is no need to have an extensive background in programming but please try to make sure that you have some proficiency in Python and on uh, Ubuntu so that you can uh, do the assignments and uh, understand what we will be doing. Um, first let's uh, go to uh, Python uh, page, uh, this uh, python.org, this is the main page for Python in which you will find a lot of tutorials and information about it. In the case of Ubuntu, uh, Python comes installed with it, so if you open a terminal and type Python, um, you will see that uh, it shows the version of Python that is installed, in, uh, in this particular case 2.7.6, so this is good. And in fact, you can already start uh, typing and interacting with Python here. Um, there are many different versions of Python, especially there is a newer version, uh, 3. Point something. And uh, in our particular case, we would like to use uh, 2.7. Um, a lot of the packages we need to use uh, are only available under 2.7. So please make sure that you have version 2.7.7 something in uh, install under Ubuntu and that uh, you're able to execute it from the terminal. Okay, uh, now um, apart from the basic installation of Python we need to uh, use several packages, uh, several uh, collections of functions that are going to be important for our uh, course. In particular in order to uh, install them, we need uh, to use the, the standard uh, installation um, application that uh, Ubuntu has, which is called apt-get, but in order to install we need to have uh, super user uh, permission, so we'll do sudo apt-get, and then we need to install a whole bunch of uh, packages, in particular we need to install the basic uh, development uh, tools. Then we will need to install uh, IPython. Uh, then we need to install Matplotlib. Um, we will need also to install NumPy, uh, SciPy. Uh, by game and finally Cyton. Okay, since we are in super user, we need to uh, give the password. Okay, and uh, in my particular case, I have already installed all these packages, so it doesn't uh, need to install anything else. Okay, all these packages are quite well known packages and uh, you can find quite a bit of information about them. So, for example, IPython, which is a uh, the interactive shell that we'll be using, uh, or NumPy, which is uh, the package for doing array processing. All our sounds are going to be arrays, so we will be using NumPy to process uh, these arrays of numbers. We'll be plotting a lot of things, uh, so matplotlib is going to be our package for plotting uh, sounds and all these uh, analyses that we will be generating. SciPy is the package for signal processing and uh, a lot of the functions we'll be using come from this package. And uh, then uh, Cyton is a, is a package for being able to interface with C code. Uh, there will be a number of functions in our uh, code that is uh, written in C. In order to compile it, we will need to use uh, Cyton. So all these are extensions of Python that will be necessary to have for our course, so please uh, make sure that you install them and uh, in the class we will uh, talk about them uh, a little bit. Okay, let's start. So in order to start, uh, 
we will uh, just use IPython. Okay, so we type IPython and it already tells me uh, the version of Python again that IPython uses, which is the same one the, that the system install, which is 2.7.6. That's good. And in here it gives me some uh, shell, interactive shell, that I can start typing uh, commands and, uh, and uh, uh, do operations. So, for example, we can do standard arithmetic operations. We can just uh, declare variables uh, and uh, operate with them. And uh, in order to deal with sounds, as I said, we need to deal with arrays. In order to do that, we need to import uh, the, the package for array operation, which was uh, NumPy. So we do import NumPy. And we normally will give it uh, a name to refer to it so that we don't have to type everything. So we just, for example, import NumPy as NP. And now uh, we have uh, all the functions of NumPy there. So we can now declare a variable a that is going to be an array. So we can call the function of NP call array. And we just can uh, uh, in create an array of uh, different numbers, for example, like this. OK. And this is the array a. And if we type a, it displays this array. We can access elements of this array, for example, the third element or we can uh, access the, all the elements from the location 1 to the 3rd, which is going to be the first uh, uh, and the, the 1 and 2 um, elements. And if we want to plot this array, we need the matplotlib. So we need to import matplotlib, but in particular we need to uh, import the module that uh, does uh, two-dimensional plotting, which is uh, uh, pyplot. Okay, and again, we will use a name, a short name to refer to this, uh, for example, plt. Okay, and now we can uh, plot, use the function plot of pyplot to display the array A. Uh, this uh, generates a display object, and in order to show it, we will need to type the show command. Okay, and this is the figure with the array values that uh, we had. Okay, now um, let's uh, let's um, continue on uh, on issues of programming. If we want to to write some more sophisticated programs, what we will be doing is uh, using a text editor. Okay, uh, this is uh, the gedit uh, text editor, which is the default editor of uh, Ubuntu. And now, in here, uh, we can type um, the, the commands, the Python uh, calls that uh, we did in the interactive shell. So, for example, we can uh, start by importing the NumPy and uh, calling it uh, NP. Then uh, we can have a variable A that will be an array of a NumPy array of, let's say, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and now let's do some operation to this array. For example, let's have a new array which will be the reverse version of A. And how we do that? Well, we have uh, access to all the indexes of uh, the array, but we use the increment of minus 1. In this way, we will go reading backwards all the array, and then we can just print this uh, uh, variable b. And now we can save it uh, in our home directory. Let's call reverse.py and uh, that will be a file, a Python script that we have saved. So now if we are here in the, the in IPython, uh, we are in the directory, the home directory. And in this home directory, we see the file that we save, reverse.py. And if we can uh, execute this uh, file, we do it by typing run and typing reverse. OK. And it returns w the print uh, command. So it returns 
the array A, but reverse, so it returns B, uh, which is the reverse version. Okay, so we can, uh, this way we can um, develop uh, some more sophisticated uh, programs and we can execute them uh, interactively from IPython. And we can go back and forth. That's going to be a very powerful way to uh, develop and interactively um, develop uh, things. And that's all I wanted to say. Um, so basically, uh, we have talked about Python, and uh, I refer to the python.org um, uh, website for more information about that. We have uh, used IPython as our interactive uh, uh, shell in which uh, we can uh, program and uh, execute uh, files from. And finally, uh, we have been uh, using and talking about some packages that extend uh, the potential of the basic uh, Python particularly the NumPy for processing array, SciPy, which uh, will be a package very much used for signal processing uh, operations for tools, uh, Matplotlib, which uh, is used for plotting uh, things. Uh. And that's all for today. Uh, we have uh, seen a very basic introduction to Python. Sorry, so I hope that uh, you have time by yourself to go more into these and uh, and uh, look at some tutorials and some further information. And that's all. Uh, next class we will extend uh, this uh, presentation and we will start talking about uh, specifically how to deal with sounds. So thank you very much for your attention.